A proposed wave pool project on Oahu continues to cause controversy. Our Eric Nacton spoke with people who are trying to stop it from being built. Native Hawaiians and others that are against a proposed new artificial wave pool on the south shore of Oahu had their opening day in court Thursday. The judge has ordered both sides to come back later this month. A handful showed up early to voice opposition outside. What's worrying me the most is the overdevelopment of our Aina Aloha. Um, how the government is allowing it to keep happening. The proposed $100 million, 20-acre Honokea West Surf Village that was once the Barbers Point Naval Air Station would be roughly a mile from another wave pool. Many feel it would add to the contamination of the one aquifer on the island. Thursday was the first court hearing and arguments were set to be heard from both sides. Leading up to the hearing, local residents filed the complaint alleging the environmental assessment for Honokea Surf Village did not adequately disclose many potential impacts. This development is not just a danger and it's not just going to adversely affect the Kalailoa community, but it's also going to affect everyone on this island. It's going to add to, to the contamination of our one aquifer that we have on this island. The Red Hill water crisis has contaminated our aquifer um, and we have to, moving forward, really be careful. We've got an ocean, water is precious, water is life. We don't need any more wave pools. Honokea West owner Brian Koalana has emphasized this year the project aims to provide economic stability through jobs and career opportunities. He feels the project site's been in disrepair for decades. He's also reportedly met with cultural advisors and conducted archaeological and environmental studies to protect Imelama the site. Eric Nacton, Island News.